OK, let's do another example of how you use the specific heat capacity to work out the energy needed for a temperature change. Let's look at playing cricket. Let's imagine we have a cricket oval somewhere and there are two people, each of whom has a cricket ball. Now one person runs along like crazy and then bowls the ball a world record speed. And the other person just sticks the ball in their pocket. Now which of these people is going to add more energy to the cricket ball? Now, sounds like a stupid question to ask. Of course the fast bowler would. But let's do the numbers and of course the answer will turn out to be a little surprising. So let's look at the first person. They are fast bowling. So how fast is a fast bowled cricket ball? Well, it turns out it's about 40 meters per second. It's about the speed of a world record bowled cricket ball. How much does a cricket ball weigh? Well, a cricket ball is supposed to have a mass of around 160 grams, which is 0.16 kilograms. So the kinetic energy, kinetic energy is one half mv squared, so that's a half times 0.16 times 40 squared, which comes out as 128 joules. So that's the energy you've given to a cricket ball when you are one of the world's greatest fast bowlers and you throw a vicious fast ball down the pitch. Now, what happens to the second person when they put the ball in their pocket? When the ball sits in your pocket, it'll warm up because of contact with your leg. Let's say it warms up by one degree. I think it'd probably warm up by more than that, but let's be conservative and say it sits in your pocket, it warms up by one degree. So how much energy now? Well, in this case, the change in energy of the ball is given by the mass times the specific heat capacity times the change in temperature. Now cricket balls are mostly made of cork and turns out cork has a specific heat capacity of about 2050 joules per kelvin per kilogram. Change in temperature goes up by one degree. The mass is 0.16 so that comes out as 0.16 times 2050 times 1 which is equal to 328 joules. Hmm. So that's rather surprising. If you want to give more energy to a cricket ball, put it in your pocket. You'll get, even for a one degree change in temperature, you get double the energy of the world's fastest fast bowler. Well, if you think about it, this kind of makes sense. We said that the atoms in you know, air at room temperature are going around at well over a thousand kilometers an hour. So when you're adding the temperature, the speeds are enormous, uh, far faster. No one can bowl at that sort of speeds. So yes, the actually the thermal energy, the energy of all these random motions and chemical bonds, stretching and rotations and things in, the, in a typical cricket ball, vastly exceeds the energy you can give it by bowling. Strange, but true.